In this video I'll show you how to power a IR cut switch using a Raspberry Pi. Um, this is pretty much a proof of concept of an idea posted by a user on the Raspberry Pi forums called um, Nestbox Tech. So all credit for this project goes to him and I'll also link to his forum post in the description. A good use case for this project is if you have a no IR Raspberry Pi camera um, you'll notice that during the day the image appears to be washed out or slightly tinted and at night um, when it's in its element um, as a night vision camera um, the image appears to be as expected when using an infrared illuminator. If you would like the colors to appear naturally during the day you can have this project running side by side with motion so what I mean by that is with a few modifications to the existing code and if you buy a light dependent resistor you can automatically have the cut switch close during the day um, so essentially block out the infrared light so that you can see the, the image in its natural colors and at night time you can have the cut switch open so you can see using infrared. I have one of my cameras running this way actually um, using motion and it works perfectly. So if you would like to see that in a new video, let me know and I'll try to get one uploaded as soon as I can. However, let's crack on with this particular project. For this project, you'll need a Raspberry Pi. In my case, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3. Um, the infrared cut switch, which you can buy online, uh, link in the description below. Um, a PCB board or, or a breadboard. I recommend using a breadboard first so you can test out the wiring properly. Um, before making things permanent. Um, an L293D motor driver and obviously some uh, cables and wiring. So this is what the motor driver pins uh, represent. So on the PCB I've got the positive terminal uh, from the Raspberry Pi connected to this pin and this pin. I've got the ground terminal connected to these four pins here and I've got GPIO connector 23 connected to input 2, uh, 24 connected to input 1 and 25 connected to enable. So in it, the enable pin is basically enabling the motor driver. On output 1 I've got uh, the positive uh, cable from the um, IR cut switch and on output 2 I've got the negative cable from the switch. I'm not using any other input or output here because I'm only using um, the switch for closing and opening. This is the Python code uh, written by Nestbox Tech um, on the forum, which does all the magic. So this actually opens and closes the infrared cut switch. I've modified it slightly to use the BCM GPIO mode. So the numbers here actually represent the GPIO pin codes on the Raspberry Pi. Down here, I'm pretty much just enabling the GPIO pins to use output mode and down here um, I am enabling the relevant pins um, pins 23 and pins 25 to close the shutter I'm pausing for two seconds and then opening the shutter by using pins 24 and pins 25 and down here um, I'm stopping so um, I'm printing to the terminal stop and disabling the enable pin on the motor driver so essentially turning it off. So the next step is to actually run the code so go ahead and SSH into your Raspberry Pi and then type in python ir.py or whatever you've called your script and do it again And that's it for this project. I hope you enjoyed watching.